Hey guys, what's going on? It's ya boy Daily Tactics here, back with another Men of War Assault Squad 2 Star Wars Galaxy at War mod video. And today we find ourselves on Felucia and uh, the clone army, uh, specifically the 187th Clone Trooper Legion, these purple boys here, are traversing uh, through this shallow water. Uh, transporting both troopers and heavy tanks through there basically just a convoy coming on through uh, and they're trying to rendezvous with this Republic base over here where Captain Tethos is right there is chilling and these guys have set up some light defenses but obviously they need support so that's why they're having uh, their boys come on in here now the battle droids got word of this convoy and they've set up a nice little ambush here so there are droid tanks as well as droid soldiers all within this Felucian forest here uh, waiting to sort of pounce on the clone troopers. It should be epic. It should be awesome. Uh, there's also a small dispatch of droids over here going to be attacking Tethos's base, which in of itself has a anti-infantry uh, rounding turret right there, as well as uh, two particle turrets in front of each door entrance, as well as a bunch of infantry and stuff like that. Um, so it should be a pretty cool video. I'll tell you now, it'll lag probably for the first like minute or so, but then as soon as the losses start mounting up and these losses should start mounting rather quickly, then the lag will disappear and it'll get to be a nice uh, frame rate. Either way guys, thanks so much uh, for checking out this video in advance and uh, I'll be right back and we can get this started. All right, you bad Larrys, here we go. We're gonna go ahead and press start. We'll get a nice bird's eye view of the start of the battle um, because uh, immediate fire is sure to happen and we can see the uh, ATTEs and the transport sort of confused as to what's happening. You see this turret like, oh God, where do I shoot? Um, not to mention the transport turrets immediately start to unload their men um, as fast as they can. The troopers are trying to get out of these things that are basically just turning into death traps now because um, once they start getting hit by rockets and if they explode then all of the troopers within them go all at once So we can see the clones trying their best to bail as their ATTEs try their best to give them cover fire But these things one of them actually goes down in the back That's actually kind of impressive how early the droids were able to kill that thing because ATTEs are tough kills. They're very very powerful tanks um, I can really do a lot of damage to the droid army, so that is rather impressive in of itself. Other ones over here are still alive, though. This one's, in fact, using a transport vehicle as cover from this uh, AAT that's over here. Um, clones who tried to sort of scatter to the shoreline get gunned down by the droid infantry that's chilling there as well. Um, so that's sort of a shame to see, but we are seeing clones putting up a good resistance on the shoreline as well. There's still plenty of them alive, as I say that one... One group right there just took a heavy rocket to the face. Um, but yeah, we can see that there are plenty of clones alive, and they're sort of tussling with the droids that are within the uh, the shoreline themselves, too. Some of the droids over here actually coming out of the shoreline. This tank must be dead, right? Oh, it is. It just didn't blow up. Lame. I'd rather it have blown up, but hey, you can't have everything, I suppose. Um, some of these transport vehicles are still alive, though, and they're rocking, uh, rocking the battle. This one just died, though. <laughs> as I say that. Um, but the battle is far from over. Um, it looks like only this transport, this transport, and this transport over here, they are the last remaining Republic vehicles left alive. This ATTE over here did end up biting the dust. Tethos' troopers over here are under quite an assault, actually, and they've lost a few troopers, but for the most part, they're picking up the pace of, uh, of fire and making sure that these droids don't really enter into their perimeter. They've lost one cannon over here. Um, how about over here? These guys seem relatively untouched. I don't think the droids really attack the front of the base too much. Um, so the Republic has taken considerable amount of damage from this ambush, but they're still going and they're still cruising. There's still hope that they sort of live through this. That was a terrible shot by that rocket drill right there. Um, a lot of the clones sort of hiding in the forest here. Um, these forest sort of trees end up with a really weird hitbox, so it can be kind of tough for, um, for the clones to kill and be killed within these deep woods. So, we'll see a lot of derpy AI moves. This clone right here with the pistol is just absolutely yamming it. Um, a lot of these AATs are still functional, and they're still pounding ahead at these, uh, transport vehicles. This one's actually, like, trying to topple this one over. Oh, the ATTE over here ended up blowing up, I guess. Um, the droids were like, even though it's decrewed, we don't want anyone getting into that thing and, uh, being able to support the Republic. So, 
Let's see here. Blue on the minimap are clones that are left alive, and there are still a considerable amount. It seems like they carved out a little patch of the woods over here for themselves, which is good to see. We see that, see that sniper just take out a droid right there. Um, and then they've got some odds and ends in here mixed with some droids who are on opposite ends of the trees. Um, they've also still got two transports left alive, though those things will likely go down soon. They have some scattered troopers amongst the trees in here too. Not too many, not as much as the right bank. Um, not to mention, their base over here is still alive. Now in terms of the droids, they've got a large chunk of an army over here. They've still got a lot of troopers over here, sort of assaulting the base. Um, and then all along the shoreline, they've got scattered groups of troopers. The AATs are also still alive. Um, the AATs might actually be, yeah, they're on movement mode hold, so I'm going to take them off that so they can go do whatever they want now. Um, I just need them to hold their position for the ambush itself, but now that it's over, they can move forward if they like. They do have quite a number of them, but you got to remember AATs are some of the weakest um, tanks in the Star Wars universe, so they can be quite easily taken out. They also all seem to be rather distracted by these transport tanks, which just seem to be stubbornly still alive, <laughs> which is kind of funny. Um, the droids within the woods aren't really attacking too much right now. Uh, they're sort of taking it easy, trying to eliminate the clones one by one, uh, while the clones sort of remain hidden amongst the uh, the trees. These two clones right here, there it must be like a glitch. How are you guys not dead? You, you make it out of there and, you know, proceed with the <laughs> Look, the droids move with them. What? <laughs> what is this? There we go. They made it out of there, and now they're gonna grenade that entire group of droids. It's just like swarming them. That was uh, that was real interesting there. But now we see these droids are freed up from the woods, and now they're sort of attacking this transport vehicle over here yet again. Maybe some of the infantry uh, behind the transport vehicle as well. Uh, these AATs looking to get the kills on them, but not quite succeeding. Let's check back in on Tethos. All right, Tethos's men are holding strong over here. This this machine gun is probably it's got eight kills that's not bad um and they seem to be suffering a little bit from some droid assaults here though they're they're sort of rebounding them back so i wouldn't say this is too much of a problem currently the the droids aren't really managing to get too many kills they're they're gunning for that turret over there and they managed to cop the kill um but then they're getting grenaded them themselves and they don't notice that grenade so they end up going down um, so light skirmishing at the base itself. Tethos's men seem to be handling the situation quite well. I think this turret here is honestly helping them out a ton. And uh, yeah, so then back sort of over towards here, there seems to be still some more light skirmishing between the clone troopers within the trees, as well as the droids on the outskirts. Um, I think the play here is uh, let's just sort of continue the battle on. Let's try and get the clones to retreat back to the base itself because fighting within these trees kind of sucks uh, for all parties because it's super glitchy and we don't get to see like the cool battle or whatever um, we'll keep some of the guys in the trees I suppose not all of them though because they're all just sort of getting stuck there so let's retreat a good number back over this way um, so all, as the clones sort of rifle through the trees the droids are taking them out slightly um, not really achieving too much in terms of kills. The clone's getting some kills as well. Um, and then Tethos's troops over here are, uh, are holding them back quite nicely as well. Um, let's simultaneously, as the clones are coming forward to make things fair, let's also have the droids come forward uh, just to spice things up a little bit. So as the clone legions sort of try to transfer themselves closer to the base, the droids will do the same um, just to even things out here. So basically everyone's going to just sort of be getting closer to the the base as they go it looks like actually a couple clones over here did end up going down perhaps a grenade took them out i'm not totally sure but they are still holding steady against the droids and reinforcements should be ap appearing rather soon um still some fighting over here are these transports still alive are you kidding me how that is ridiculous all right well these two, two transports are still cruising out of like the six transports that they started with two are still alive. That's actually kind of impressive. Though the ATTEs were not so lucky. All right, so a little bit of droid assault going on over here in the Felucia part of the base, and uh, the uh, the clones doing a nice job of sort of taking them out before they get too close. We see that right there. Um, this is what I'm talking about. 
terms of like glitchy hitboxes, this droid like standing right in front of the clones and not really able to hit, hit them. I accidentally just launched us to another part of the map. A um, couple AATs though, getting closer to the base. Honestly, the clones could probably handle those things pretty well. I think they might have a few rocket launchers, not to mention this thing would just tear up an AAT. Uh, that, the machine gun on that thing is ridiculously powerful. Um, but we're seeing some, that's a really nice screenshot right there actually. I uh, don't know if I'll use it for the thumbnail because it doesn't really show off the the whole ambush thing, but like, come on, that looks sick. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. <laughs> Sometimes I get early into the, the screenshots. Um, I, don't, I don't know what to do about these transports. Because, <laughs> look at them, like, flipping each other over. There's still two left alive and they're still, like, cruising around. It's so weird. How are they not dead? I'm so confused by that. I guess we'll let them continue to do their thing because we're letting the droids, you know, continue to use their ships and stuff like that. Um, this droid AAT did end up getting gunned down. The thing is, we know those transports aren't indestructible because like four or five of them did die. So I don't understand how the others aren't really dying here. Um, another AAT sort of getting in, up and close to the clones. It's still undercover from that tree. So the clones aren't able to really shoot at it quite yet. But once it comes out of cover, they'll have a nice angle at it. Um, battle's really sort of starting to wind down a little bit. This uh, Legion of Clones over here, uh, they can be tossed back into the base, I suppose, um, because they did make it all the way over here. So we'll just put them in there. Seems like all these droids attempted an assault on the base and did end up dying in the very end. Um, there's like a few more clones within the woods over here, so let's bring them back around this way. I know, I'm, I'm helping the clones a little bit. Um, but I mean, it's just to keep the battle a little bit interesting and flowing or else we land into sort of a stalemate and stalemates aren't fun to watch. Um, okay, honestly, I'm going to delete the troop transports because this thing is literally doing nothing. It's walking in the middle of nowhere. Um, let's see, wait, where's the other one? Oh, the other one did die? Oh no, it's just like deep in the woods over here. So weird. They're not doing anything. They're just sort of wandering around randomly. Um, a lot of the droid tanks seem to be stuck in the woods, which is kind of funny. Not a lot of droid infantry left alive. Um, for the most part, a lot of them are dead. This one clone is crawling his way to the base. That's dedication right there. Um, seems like there was another droid assault over here, actually. And a few droids made it like barely into the base and took out a couple clones, maybe? It's kind of impressive. Um... And over here, it seems like some more assaults have been coming on to the, the clones front of the base over here, but been just sort of wiped out. Um, honestly, the battle's sort of dying down. Let's go ahead and push all the droids into one sort of center assault here. Get them moving. Get the AATs going as well. And we'll see if the last remaining clones, which there really aren't that many left, probably less than the number of droids, We'll see if the last remaining clones can hold off the uh, the rest of the droid ambushers. And I think an ambush sort of like this is, honestly, this guy's going out of the base. This guy went out. We got clones actually cockily moving forward. Um, and they're swarmed by droids sort of all around. So we'll see if these guys actually manage to do anything. But, um, you know, an ambush like this, I feel like the strategy isn't to actually... Um, win the day or win any territory i think the the real goal of an ambush like this is to kill and disrupt the um sort of enemy supply lines and to inflict as much damage upon them as they possibly can um, in a set amount of time and i think when you do go into an ambush you expect to sort of lose the troopers that you have um in some capacity because you're really you're just trying to get as much damage done to the enemy as possible and usually you'll bring more forces than the enemy did which is true in terms of this battle um but uh, and obviously you want to keep as much of your force as you possibly can but at the same time losses are acceptable because you're trying to inflict damage on the enemy so in terms of that i think this droid battle was completely successful we see three attes which are you know expensive tanks um down we see a number of troop transports toppled over destroyed we see pounds of 
right? Pounds is a weird unit to use, but tons of bodies just everywhere for the clone troopers that have just been mass slaughtered. Um, so I'd say in terms of that, the droids have definitely been successful. Clones, for some reason, are actually coming out of the woodwork over here into the woods um, and doing a little bit of an assault on the droids here. They managed to knock one out right there. They're, uh, they're getting a little cocky. They're pushing out. Um, the droids seem to be holding the shoreline over here rather than inside the woods itself too far. So if the clones would migrate a little too far that way, we could see some action here. Um, this one droid is glitched out. Oh, he was actually starting to move on his own. I didn't need to do that, but I did anyway. Um, well, he's out here now. Got his pistol drawn. Oh, I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> this is why the, the Felucia plants are really glitchy in this game. Oh, there were, oh, <laughs> he did end up going down. Oh god, a clone threw a grenade into the, oh, that's tough. <laughs> that's real rough right there. That's a, that's a dozy. Okay, um, there's not that many droids left. Let's just get them to push in, um, and sort of wrap this video up because there's not a lot more that can really happen here. Um, Alright, so a few droids going in, attacking over here. The AAT is supposed to be attacking with them, but it's instead spinning in circles. Should we just delete this plant here? Yeah, maybe this plant was hit by artillery, so... Um, oh, okay, AAT immediately going down, and then the rest burning, and there were clones actually right underneath that tree, too, so any droids who were on the shoreline ended up getting roasted. Alright, well... Yeah, I'd say this was a successful ambush. The Republic base did not receive any of the forces that they were expecting to receive, um, which obviously sucks for them. Um, the droids took some losses, but they ended up really surviving most of their AATs. They still got five AATs left alive, so let's just assume, since the Republic doesn't have any tanks that they can use to take out these AATs, these AATs are free to retreat and go home. There's a few droids with them, and by a few I mean like three. Is there a clone trooper in here? Where is he? Oh, there's a clone within the trees. He was too frightened to come out. Come on, dude. That's weak. Um, so yeah, I, I think it was a successful ambush. It was pretty interesting to watch. Towards the end there, it petered out, I'll admit. it. Um, you know, it's kind of tough with videos like these with the the trees and stuff like that. It gets, gets a little bit glitchy. So I think the beginning of the battle was really fun to watch and the end sort of petered out a bit. But I hope you guys overall got some enjoyment from this video. Um, I certainly did. I thought it was pretty pretty interesting to to sort of see. Yeah, we can get some nice screenshots here. Oh yeah. Oh, actually an AAT is still combating a few clones over here. That's kind of interesting to see. Let's see. I want to get a nice screenshot of these guys because these guys look sweet. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Um, well, that's a, that's a doozy right there. Oh, that looks really cool. That looks sick. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed this video. Comment and subscribe if you did. Check out all my social medias in the comment section below. I appreciate all the support we've been getting on the videos lately. They've been um, some really nice comments in there, and you guys are really just an awesome fan base. Um, and so I just want to take the time to say thank you. Uh, once more to all of you guys for continuing to come back to my videos and watch them on a daily basis um, and even the not so good ones you know ones that probably could have been done better you guys are still supportive of them and you you sort of say what you didn't like so I can fix it in the future um, and I just want to say I, I appreciate all of the the fans surrounding the channel and um, to all newcomers welcome to all um, you know, old fans who have been around for quite a while, thank you for sticking around. It, it's just, it's been a ride, and um, I don't know. I guess I'm feeling sentimental secure. today. Tethos got a kill, by the way. That's kind of interesting. Um, this guy got one kill, too. This guy got one. The turret ended up getting 11. This guy got five. That's pretty impressive. This guy got none. This guy got none. This guy got none. This guy got none. This guy got three. This guy got one. This guy got none. All right. Huge sidetrack right there. What did this guy get? Two. That's not bad. Um, so yeah, thank you guys. Appreciate you so much. Um, and I hope to see you around the channel. Um, and uh, yeah, keep up the awesome feedback on the videos. Keep up the awesome things you do for the channel. And uh, I'll see you all later. Sorry, I know this got weirdly sentimental at the end. I don't know why. I just did. Okay. Uh, okay, emotions. Men aren't supposed to have emotions. Urgh. Okay, bye. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. 
Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.